Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. It's so good to see all of you. I feel like we're doing a lot of these Zoom meetings, so I'm getting used to seeing everybody in their backgrounds. Hope you're getting used to mine. I also just want to put a little plug in for Wolfware. It's appropriate for any Zoom occasion. So um, <laughs> I'm Mary Ellen Hunt, in case you uh, didn't remember my name. And uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you. Um, and uh, hopefully, this will be a, a kind of a fun event tonight. Um, if you're anything like me, your household has been um, a, a little bit thrown into uh, chaos <laughs> by this process. And so it's nice to have an adult only um, event. Um, so we're looking forward to, to getting to know you all a little bit better um, and also introducing you to some of the members of the Parent Association. So with that, uh, I'm going to uh, toss it over to Masha who has been in touch with you about some things um, and she has a little bit of an update for you. So Masha, do you want to take it away? I haven't learned to unmute myself. Hello uh, and welcome everybody. Really great to see you all. I just first of all wanted to say thank you so much for all of your hard work and cooperation and responsiveness on the course matching assessments. It was, it's, it was a huge task to do it remotely for everybody and we got it done and uh, just cheers to that. Um, we, another very important thing is that from now on, all of the communications will be for, uh, that we're sending to your students and to you are going to be sent to the students' email addresses uh, that are hosted at JCHS. So you always get a copy of the information to your parents, your personal email, but students only get it on their JCHS email. Today I sent out um, another reminder with instructions on how to log in. So please um, reach out to Ms. Elaine Bregman, our registrar, if you have any questions about um, anything, schedule, uh, how to log into email, anything going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Masha. Hi, everyone. I'm Leslie Tickton. We're so thrilled to see you here. Um, a couple quick Zoom notes. Um, if you're able to and it's possible, we'd love to see you. So if you can turn on your video, um, that would be great. We are recording this session um, and you'll be able to view it uh, afterwards, just like all of our other previous ones on our welcome website. And um, we invite you to visit that welcome website as often as possible. There's a lot of good information there and um, the old recordings from our welcome events are there too. Um, thank you to everyone who RSVP'd and shared your great questions and your great suggestions for future events. Um, if you have more questions tonight during the presentation, uh, please use the chat function um, at the bottom of your screen. Um, I'll go over our agenda now for the night just to um, let you know what we'll be doing. We'll, um, we're excited to welcome you. This is about you, the parents, um, and we want to give you a chance to see each other's faces and get to know some of the parents that you'll be co-parenting with uh, for the next four plus years. Um, we're going to introduce you to some of our current parents who are active in the parent association. And then we're going to break out into breakout rooms. Some of you may have been doing that via Zoom the last few weeks. Um, it'll be just a quick icebreaker and hopefully it'll be um, fun for everybody. And then we'll come back together as a group. We'll answer some questions and we're very excited to share details about our next event. So with that, I'd like to introduce to you um, our current chair of the Parent Association, Ellen Finestone, and she's going to introduce um, some other members of our PA as well. So, Ellen. Hi there. Um, welcome, everybody. I'm glad that you're here with us tonight. Um, and welcome to the JCHS Parent Association. I am one of many parents who help make up this great team of people who truly are the essence of the school. Every single one of you is already a member of the PA, so welcome to our team. We'd love to see you and lots of you at our events uh, throughout the year. For those of you who have a first year high schooler, being involved in the parent association in high school is very different than it is in elementary and middle school. Uh, the best part about that is we don't necessarily have parent association meetings, certainly not formal meetings. 
most of what we do is getting involved. And what that really means is showing up. There are volunteer opportunities, but um, one of the best things you can do is just participate in the many activities you're going to hear about today. So hopefully you will learn a little bit more about the Parent Association and there'll be an opportunity to answer questions later on. Um, and with that, you're going to hear from a couple JCHS parents who are involved uh, currently in the Parent Association. Um, and while they're speaking, you'll see some slides that give you some visuals of what uh, goes on in the school. So I'd like to start by introducing Deb Statner, who will talk about teacher appreciation. Deb? Hi, everyone. Um, so I led the Professional Community Appreciation Committee for a couple of years, and I've met a lot of people by doing that, and it also just feels so good to be able to um, show gratitude for our staff and faculty. Um, what we do is we will celebrate each of the Jewish holidays, and depending on who is chairing the committee, it can look many different ways, but we bring in snacks to the um, staff lounge, um, and we you know, just celebrate it that way. And then we also have what we call professional community snacks. And um, those are served monthly. And there, it's a way to be able to sign up and give back to our staff and faculty and a way to, um, you know, get involved in a very sort of low stakes way and still feel like, you know, part of the community. Um, we also have an end of the year teacher appreciation luncheon and normally we have that at the social hall at the school but this year we're doing more of a virtual event so hopefully we'll be able to do that next year but we'll, we'll see. Um, anyway, I really, uh, if, it's a great way to get involved. Um, again, it's low stakes and it's a really great way to have meaningful impact on our school. And that's it. So um, now I'd like to turn it over to Rona Edelbaum Sloan to talk about Sukkot. Welcome, everyone. Um, I uh, joined, my family and I joined the school uh, as transfer student and family. We had been abroad in Israel for a year, and our son Miles joined as a 10th grader. And we knew that he had missed um, a great bonding opportunity by missing ninth grade. So we were eager to involve ourselves in a meaningful way as quickly as possible. And so um, Ellen uh, kind of threw me into the fire and asked me to become the co-host for the Community Sukkot Dinner, which is an annual event. Um, and it was an incredible way to really uh, immerse ourselves into the JCHS community to meet the staff, the faculty, um, and to really feel a part of something uh, much bigger. Um, the staff were incredible in terms of, of offering help um, and guidance. Um, that's one of the beauties about being part of such a tight-knit group is um, the support that, that we're all given. Uh, and it was an, a wonderful evening. Um, and it's an annual tradition that we hope very much will be continued uh, this fall if circumstances permit. Um, and then uh, my involvement didn't end with the Sukkot dinner. Um, I, uh, there's lots of other opportunities to be involved, including um, a series of guided tours through the Contemporary Jewish Museum that happened last year. And we had the privilege of uh, our own guide and the exclusivity of the museum being open for us um, alone. Uh, and it was, a, again, a great way in a much smaller group uh, to be involved and to get to know fellow parents um, on a, you know, intimate level. Uh, and I really appreciate all the opportunities that exist for parents to not just be involved with the school, but to get to know each other. 
So with that, I'm going to toss it back to Ellen and she's gonna talk about other events. Thank you. Thank you, Rona and Deb. Um, it's hard to describe how, uh, how important this is uh, as a way to get involved in the school. I'm just gonna share a couple more of, of things that we do. Um, and while I'm doing that, just think about, uh, I want you guys to realize that a lot of these events came up through the curiosity of parents who wanted to um, do something, brought it to the attention of the school or to um, the parent association, and we just did it. So um, the, the first one are parent ed events. Um, this is a great way for teachers to come together with parents, typically on a weekday morning at school in an intimate setting, and they'll share a lesson um, from one of their classes. Um, it could be anything from a class on the Holocaust that parallels what the students are learning in class. So you can really see what a JC JCHS student is learning to a Torah study, to um, some kind of a book review. There's lots of opportunity. And every year we kind of ask teachers what they're interested in teaching and ask parents what they're interested in um, studying. It's also social, which is great. And uh, some of the things that we do that are purely social is we offer parent hikes. Uh, the last few years, we've been doing them in Marin and in San Francisco. So you can drop off your student and then go for a hike with other parents um, or coffees that are either at the school or at locations that are, um, could, yeah, that are you know comfortable and easy to access for parents. Um, Another thing that we're involved with that is uh, really fantastic is the Parents Coalition of Bay Area High Schools. If you have never heard of the Parents Coalition, I highly recommend you look it up online. It's a group of, I believe, 14 different private schools that come together. JCHS is a member. Um, and um, in fact, one of our alumni parents is the chair of this. And every year the Parents Coalition sponsors speakers who address a variety of concerns and interests related to parenting teens. Topics and speakers can be uh, a whole variety of things. We've had teen vaping last year. Peggy Ornstein came and talked about teens and sex. Um, there's technology. Uh, there was a technology speaker. Really, really incredible, uh, very coveted, um, very coveted speakers, which is great. And we have first access to those. Um, last year, on the recommendation of a parent, we started a all school spirit event for our students and parents to attend sporting events dressed in wolf wear with pep rally and face painting for the students during the day. Uh, we got the student athletic uh, uh, group involved and there was, it really increased attendance at sporting events and just made it incredible to be together as a group. I could go on and on. There's lots of great things that we do. Um, and like I said before, many of the programs come from suggestions by parents. We are open to experimenting. Obviously, we'll be doing some of that this year. Um, we already have some ideas on how to um, do some socializing a little bit more Zoom-like. Um, and um, we hope that you will get involved first and foremost, foremost just by attending. You'll get a, you know, a paperless post invite to go to the CJM. Go. Meet Rona and I there. And if we're not doing it in person, we'll do it online. Um, if there's a hike, um, go. And this is really the essence, like I said before, of the school, a great way to meet people um, and to really get together. Um, so if you have any questions, there'll be an opportunity to ask later on. And um, we'd love your ideas and welcome to JCHS. Thank you so much, uh, Rona and uh, Deb and Ellen. We really appreciate everything that you do um, for the Parent Association. And um, I just want to you know, reiterate, I think we're kind of saying it in different ways, but um, something that's so unique and special about the JCHS community, we're about learning, but not just for the kids. Um, it's about the way that we learn as adults, the way that we come together, the way that we support each other. It's something that's really important in our community, and the Parent Association is really key to that. 
Um, so thank you all for being part of that. Um, so we're going to move into um, breakout rooms uh, now. And I think that um, Leslie is going to kind of send you all into different breakout rooms. You've been somewhat randomly chosen and there'll be um, one of us, either a, a PA um, you know, alum member or um, a staff member um, in each breakout room. And we're gonna ask you uh, three things um, just to kind of get things going. Um, if you can let us know your name, um, the name of your student who you're the parent of. Um, and then uh, our question of the day to think about is if you were in school today, uh, what would you bring for show and tell and why? So very, very casual. If you're like me, you might not know this about me, but I'm incredibly shy. So mm -hmm. things like this always make me spin out and go, oh my gosh, what am I going to say? Um, but we're all really, really friendly here. Um, so no pressure um, and you know, totally uh, up to you how you'd like to, to talk about all of these things and, and share out. Um, but don't feel like um, we're, it, it needs to be a formal situation. Uh, so, all right, Leslie, I think, are you, are you all set? All set. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll and see we you meet in the breakout back here. Rooms, everyone. Yeah, we'll meet back in, in about 12 to 15 minutes. And I'll send a little warning when it's time to come back. Excellent. Thank you. Shelly! Hi, everybody! Oh, man, I saw you on one of the previous calls. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. How's everybody doing? Good, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. This is so fun. Um, so yeah, we want to be respectful of everyone's time and we want to give you all a chance to share a little bit. So um, we have, looks like we have a lot of uh, double the people per screen, so which is great. Um, so if you look, let's see, can everyone see in the chat? Yeah, so um, you just we'll go around the square. I know everybody's tiles look a little bit different. Everyone's view is a little different, but hopefully you can be in gallery view and see everybody. Um, share mm -hmm. your name and who you're the parent of. And then the, the prompt is, if you were in school today, what would you bring for show and tell and why? So um, as you all know, I'm Leslie Tickton. I have three kids. My youngest is a rising senior. He's just finishing up his junior year. Um, Ethan and I've been a part of the parent association um, for a few years now and I just love connecting with other parents the jump from middle school to high school as those of you with older kids know is a big difference and it's not as we're not as connected um, so I think if I was going to show and tell um, Chloe my daughter and I baked banana bread and um, I would probably want to bring that and share that with my friends so they could see it and taste it and um, enjoy and I could talk about the fun that Chloe and I had together uh, baking. So um, does someone want to volunteer? Do you guys want me to assign people to go next? How do you want to do it? <laughs> assign. Are you pointing at me? <laughs> okay so um, how about May? Are you okay going first? Sure no You're problem. The top left screen in my view so. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, my name is May Chaltiel. Uh, we live in Berkeley. Um, my son, his name is Nico Chaltiel and he'll be joining the ninth grade. Um, I would bring um, maybe some vegetable starters because I've been gardening a lot. Great, thank you. Okay, Taubmans, you're up. <laughs> You're next to me. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Deanna Taubman. And I'm Steve. And our <laughs> son is Bennett. And that was the same thing. I've been doing a ton of gardening and I have a bunch of herbs that I started from seed. I have oregano and thyme and chamomile and all sorts of other things. And I would be bringing that to show people because I'm super excited to get those in the ground. I'd bring our cat. Oh, <laughs> that'd be a great show and tell. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, Branston, Shelly. Yeah. Hi, I'm Shelly. I'm with you. And uh, Phil, Chanel. Hi, Phil. Nice to see you. 
soon to be stepfather of Ethan. Uh, Wonderful. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Ethan is entering ninth grade. And um, I think we'd probably, only because Ethan would kill us if we wouldn't, we'd bring Flash, our dog. Okay. Has been the best thing that's happened to us in the last couple of months. Nice. Yeah. Is Flash a new member of your family? No, no. But he's the only member of the family that's lost weight during COVID. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be four in November. Okay. <laughs> We'd love to meet Flash. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Carson's, you're next on my screen. I don't know where everybody's situated in your view, but. <laughs> Leslie, it is wonderful to see you and everybody. You too. It's gonna be better, thank you so much. So uh, for everyone else, um, my name is Ward. I'm Marion. And uh, I'm from uh, Chicago. She's from Austria. <laughs> <laughs> we met uh, somewhere over the Atlantic. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what are the questions here? Parent of, we are the parent of a young Mr. Tovey Carson. Tovey is uh, 13. He's very excited. His number one choice was uh, JCHS. So it must be exciting for us too. This is our first foray. And Leslie, as you said, it's a huge bridge going from eighth grade to high school. So we're going to see it in real time. Um, if we were in school today, what would we bring for show and tell and why? Go ahead. <laughs> Well, first thing I would bring if we were in school today are going to be N95 masks and hand sanitizer. That's a nice share. <laughs> yeah, I go with that. <laughs> and then I would uh, buy the Cubs hats for everybody because of Oh, and there you go. That'd be good. Thank you. I'll do it. I'll do it. You did all the talking. Okay. <laughs> There'll you be plenty of opportunities for you to talk also, Mary. Sure, totally. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> We're in this for the long haul. Okay, Tamara's parents, Martin and Inbar, are you okay going next? We're trying to get yeah. rid of Tamara. Our, our, oh, oh, you don't want her to hear. <laughs> she's the ultimate. She's the ultimate eavesdropper. She she's should be living. Screening. With you. She's screening your Zoom. <laughs> she's a Zoom bomber. Excuse me. Get out of here. <laughs> we want to talk about you. <laughs> Week 10. <laughs> she was worried that we were going to embarrass her and the opposite. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> this is our show and tell for today. Um, anyway, uh, so I'll let you go first. Thank you. Okay, I'll go first. Um, uh, I'm Martin Lowenstein. Uh, this is my wife, Inbar Tellem. Um, I, uh, so our daughter is Tamara. And um, we live in San Rafael. And um, if I were to bring in something for show and tell, um, it would probably be um, uh, different animal paw prints. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to, to operate a state park down the street, for those of you who know China Camp State Park. Um, and, uh, and so we have these uh, fun you know, sets of paw prints that uh, we have you know, people try to guess you know, what animals they uh, belong to. So I suppose that's, that's what I'd bring in for show and tell. How fun. That would be super fun for all ages, adults and, and children. Would you bring something different in bar? Um, I, I knew that he was going to was gonna have to bring something related to the park. Um, I, um, I, I would join the people who are gardening because I'm trying to grow a lot more edibles. So we'll see what the results are in a few months. But my, my best show and tell item is food. I, I like to make food and I like to share it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next row are the Marxists. <laughs> so I'm Anne and I'm, I live in Berkeley and I'm gonna, going to bring a video. Oh, Joshua is my son and he'll be coming into ninth grade. And I'm, I'm going to bring a video that we captured over the weekend of our garden squirrel, oh. very, very cutely eating an entire strawberry right in front of us, eyeing us down. Our That's strawberry. Beautiful. I'd love to see yeah. that. 
You know, um, later in this event, you're going to be invited, if you haven't already, to join the JCHS Families Facebook page. If you're on Facebook, that would be a really fun thing to share. <laughs> and uh, I'm Michael. And I'm Michael. I would bring our cockatiel little pie and let everybody give him a massage, just Sweet. like he loves. What's his name? Little Pie, because he's got these, pie. his ears have these orange, uh, see the orange pie? <laughs> Very cute. Thank you. Wow, lots of fun animals and lots of food. <laughs> okay, um, I see, Zoom, you're on mute, but maybe you can, uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zoom. Uh, and I'm Kathy. And we are Cassidy's mom. Um, and unlike Martin and Inbar, she's in the other room <laughs> chatting with her JCHS friends. friends. Oh, so good. she's fully occupied. Good. Oh, so that's some good intel. So they are already connecting. Yeah, what? there's been a lot of connections um, uh, through, uh, through Zoom and the like. So it's been really interesting. Okay. So our daughter is converting to Judaism. Um, her, her bat mitzvah was to be July 25th and now it's going to be a Zoom mitzvah. Nice. Um, and uh, Ward, I love your hat. Mm -hmm. I'm a Chicagoan and uh, a passionate Cubs fan and have had many heartburns until we won the World Series. Same, um, same. And, if, um, and if we were to bring something for show and tell, um, the garden is a big theme. We, we would think about that, but we're trying to figure out summer and Cassidy's really into lacrosse. So she's been showing us all the lacrosse practices that hopefully will happen. So we would bring the lacrosse schedule for the summer with a lot of good energy, hoping that it happens. That would be really fun. <laughs> Thank you. So she's still doing her bar mitzvah on the same date. She is. It'll be um, it'll be a Zoom mitzvah, and then when we can congregate, um, we'll do something uh, in person. But uh, she will she will do it on the twenty fifth, converting so, on the thirteenth, uh -huh. and so, then her bat mitzvah is on the twenty fifth of July. So exciting, Mazel Tov! We're very excited for her. Okay, Sharon. You need to, uh, oh, you did, great. <laughs> Welcome, nice um, to see you. Thank you. Um, mazel tov to Cassidy, that's very exciting. We've been going to a lot of Zoom mitzvahs lately. Really? So, wow. Um, and they've been really special actually, so um, in their own way. Uh, so I'm Sharon Segev. My rising high school student is Nadav Boskovitz. My husband, Abraham, um, couldn't attend today, he was at work. Um, and what was I supposed to say? Something I'm, I would bring, uh, I'm debating between food and coffee because they're my my two loves. <laughs> I'd probably bring my um, for everyone machine, and I would make uh, cappuccinos for everybody because I've been living on them lately. So, and you make them everybody. on your own? Like, how do you do that? Oh yeah, um, we have a really nice uh, cappuccino maker. It's downstairs, or else I'd show you right now. Um, and yeah, foam the milk and everything, and it's nice. it's a bit of heaven. I just got a little time. hand frother and it's been magic. I got they it work well. I've only used it a few times, but it's great. Yes. Especially and I think I've upped my coffee consumption just a little bit over this pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> Very necessary. The frother's been nice when um, I can't use the blender in the morning because my teenagers are sound asleep. When I say morning, <laughs> it's, you know, noon. Um, <laughs> so um, they love to yeah, sleep well, late. We, we get creative, right? We get creative. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to head back to the main group. Um, we'll, we have like another minute heading, I'm texting the group. Um, so we have um, another minute. If there's anything anyone else wants to share or make sure that the group knows, um, now would be a great time. Um, and then we're just, we're hopeful that you will continue to connect and that we're able to give you more opportunities to connect. Um, is there anything anyone else wants to say in the group in closing? Just with our breakout group, not the main group. I, I want to ask a question and I'll find out at some point. I, uh, our, uh, Tamara is our oldest of three kids. I'm Israeli and our kids are all bilingual and I'm wondering 
um, anybody here or I'm curious to meet uh, other JCHS families where the kids are Hebrew speakers. So anybody here? Oh. Sure. There you go. Yeah, I'm Israeli and Joshua's bilingual. I'm, you putting it in, I'm putting it in my notes too, Imbar. And, um, you know, will Josh, you, you said Josh speaks Hebrew? Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's something that we can, you know, coordinate for you and just dis disperse so that all the Hebrew speakers can connect. Someone else also asked um, about speaking Russian. So, that's, I think that could be an easy thing to coordinate for those of you that are interested in meeting other people who speak other languages. All right, we're going to head back. Um, and we like China Camp. Pardon? So, and we like China Camp. Yeah, how about, how about German Austrian clubs? <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, starting to come back in. Good to see you all back in here. I hope you're all having good conversations. I just want you all to know that I got some, some tips on sourdough and I also have an idea of how we're gonna do Sukkot dinner next year. We've got oh. some, some plans. There's good food happening out there. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're still waiting for another group. Hold on. Let's see, is everyone back? Um, does everybody see everybody? I think we're all back. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you. Hope that was fun. It was definitely fun in our group. Um, lots of pets and lots of food will be shared at uh, Show and Tell. So this brings us to the Q&A portion of our evening. And um, we just wanna thank you all for your suggestions. Um, first about uh, future sessions um, in the RSVP form. You gave us different ideas on different classes we could maybe do this summer or Zoom events, um, maybe in-person gatherings. Um, so thank you and we've listened and we're very excited to tell you about our next event. Mary Ellen will mention that and share the details in just a few minutes. Um, but uh, hopefully we've answered most of your questions tonight. I know there's a lot. Um, and we're gonna do our best to answer a few more now. Some of you asked some general questions about just how to get involved um, as a parent or in the parent association. And tomorrow, I think it's scheduled to be sent tomorrow, you'll be receiving an email um, from Ellen Feinstone, who you met earlier, um, and it will include a link with a volunteer form. So you can share your interests and things that you wanna do to help um, in the PA. And another person asked how parents socialize when we live all over the Bay Area. And that's a common question too. Same with the, the kids. They wanna know how the kids connect. And similar to what Ellen said earlier, um, the short answer is to show up. So, you know, a lot of the events are at school, um, but you, you know, like the Sukkot dinner and most of the parent ed events, but there's so many other things that are, that can happen all over the Bay Area. And um, there's hikes in Marin and there's hikes in San Francisco. And um, there's also opportunities for you to get together with your grade, all of you and your, and your families in a park or at someone's home. Um, you know, we can help you uh, with that. We would just ask that it not be on Shabbat and um, that you help adhere to kashrut rules. So um, there's lots of different ideas and lots of opportunities to get together. Um, let's see, is there any other questions in the chat? Okay, um, yes, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> uh, there was also a bunch of questions about schedules and some about transportation and the bus. Um, some specific questions about classes and school, and we will address those questions. Um, a lot of those, um, a lot of that information will come back in, will come to you in, um, and from Ellen, or sorry, from Elaine, um, our registrar. So um, 
Mary Ellen, some parents are asking about the fall and they want to know about our plans for reopening. Um, so before Masha shares some friendly reminders with everyone, um, would you please talk for a moment about the many, many meetings you're involved in to help us prepare for getting our community back together on Ellis Street? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, I think it's a question that, of course, is on all of our minds a lot. What is what is going to happen uh, in the next few months? What is the fall going to look like? Um, and as you've heard from Rabbi Rubin um, in the, at the welcome event, uh, of course, we wish we could tell you in full detail, like we know exactly what's going to happen. Um, so much of it is dependent um, on how uh, things evolve over the summer, just generally in our area. Um, but what we do know for sure is we are planning to open school in August. Um, the uh, first day of school, the orientation dates that you were sent already are the dates that we're going to try and hold to. Um, we don't see a need to change that at this point. Um, and we're, of course, working on alternative plans. Um, as Leslie referenced, I'm on uh, a couple of different groups that are looking at um, what are some of the options that we have. Um, depending on what the situation is and depending on what um, orders come from the Department of Health and you know from other agencies. Um, you are all going to be seeing a message uh, next week from Rabbi Rubin. He's going to have some updates. He'll talk a little bit about the working groups and what we're working on. Um, again, it's not going to be like super, super detailed. I wish we could be <laughs> super detailed about exactly what's going to happen next year, but it will give you an idea of uh, some of the directions and some of the, the uh, work that's being done. Um, as we think about the fall. So please know, of course, we always welcome your questions. We welcome your feedback um, as we're thinking about this. Um, and also, we're still working on, you know, uh, what, what the actual parameters of the plans are going to be um, for next year. So, Thank you. Um, can you tell them about our next event? Oh, yes, happy. <laughs> that I do know about. <laughs> so um, Jackie Shelton Miller um, has very kindly um, offered to host a uh, Zoom holobake um, next week. Now, Jackie has an incoming student, Joshua Miller, who's coming into the class of 2024, um, and she is also an expert baker. Um, <laughs> so on Wednesday, May 27th, um, at, do I have that right, at 5 p.m.? Yeah. Yes. Um, we'll send out the info. You don't have to remember this or anything. We'll send, we'll send a follow-up email that has all this information in it. Um, but she will be doing uh, a Zoom holiday with you. It's a lot of fun, um, interactive, get your flower ready, you know, put your apron on, and um, I think it'll be a really, really, really fun event. Thank you. We're so excited about that. And um, Masha, if you could, are you able to answer... Um, Martin's question about oh. the, the Google Calendar. Do you see oh, that? Oh, uh, let me oh, see. It might just be to me. Sorry. Does the JCHS calendar have an RSS feed for our personal Google calendars? I think they do, right? Uh, we do. Yeah. Um, you okay. have to find, there's a little link to the RSS. Okay. Um, it's like a little text link um, that's next to the calendar. Um, if I can, I'll find a screenshot and, and show you where it is. Um, Great. But yeah. Great. And if you... Um, if you want it to sync to your device, there's a special URL you need to go to to enable syncing from that device, and I can send that link out if people need it. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so we're just looking at the time. Um, Masha has um, a few friendly reminders for you, and then we're going to um, do a little closing. Yeah, well, thank you so much again for making time to join us. It's really wonderful to see all of your faces and just, you know, focus on parents today. Uh, and a few reminders. Um, please join our JCHS Facebook page. And it's JCHS, in all caps, families. You should be able to find us there. Uh, our JCHS Instagram is JCHS Wolves, one word, a lowercase. And when you are now able to log into the JCHS portal, which is, has all of the resources, um, like student handbook, directory, uh, and you know, people you can contact at our school, um, links to purchase Wolfware, and also information about how to, well, your student would log into the JCHS email. So again, very important reminder that uh, the students are, only receiving all essential communication 
add their JCHS email. Uh, we can't emphasize it enough. So please, uh, if you have any questions about logging in, get in touch with us. Your point of contact about scheduling and classes is Elaine Bregman, the registrar. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Masha. And thank you, Mary Ellen. And thank you to our wonderful co-hosts, Ellen and Rona and Deb. We really appreciate your time and helping us um, connect our new parents. Um, so um, that brings us to the conclusion of our fun parent event. And we just would, would first want to remind you that we will send out um, a follow-up email with all the email addresses and the info um, from the Fell family and you know other things that are important for you to know. You don't have to be jotting down all these dates and people and contacts and things. So we will follow up with you and also share uh, the Zoom recording for tonight. So if you wanna reference anything, you can. So if you're comfortable, um, we're gonna unmute everybody and you can say a little something. And um, we'd also like you to type in the chat um, a word or a phrase that describes how you're feeling about being a part of our JCHS community. So thank you, and we look forward to seeing you all in person really, really soon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.